Hey guys, this month, every Wednesday on my Cook With Me, I'm going to be sharing a crock pot recipe for Crocktober. Okay, you guys, so this is the first Wednesday in October, and I am going to sort of jump on the bandwagon. I've seen a lot of people that are sharing crock pot recipes because it is fall. Crock-Pot recipes are so easy. I love them. There's so many to pick from. So I have decided to make this month, every Wednesday is typically when I post my food videos. So it's going to be a Crock-Pot recipe and maybe I'll start sharing some on my vlogs which are going to be coming to this channel starting next week, <laughs> I think, yes, next week. So I hope you guys enjoy those, and I will, of course, share more of my dinner meals, breakfast, lunch, whatever I'm eating in those videos, but every Wednesday is going to be a crock pot recipe, and the first one is a super simple one. That is it, you guys, that's all you need. So I've got two packages of Hillshire Farm beef smoked sausage. You guys could use turkey sausage, whatever kind of meat, or sausage you guys want. Then I'm going to use a little bit of ranch dressing and some barbecue sauce. So I'm going to set up my camera this time and show you guys how I'm going to put this together. All right, so this recipe is called crock pot kielbasa bites recipe. I will have the link down below in the description box. I found it on Pinterest where I typically find most of my recipes. Love Pinterest. First up, I'm going to slice my sausage links into round pieces. The recipe says about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm just gonna slice these puppies up. After that, I'm going to put them in the crock pot. Then I'm gonna get a small mixing bowl. I'm gonna combine the barbecue sauce, which again, it's just a whole bottle of whatever barbecue sauce you have. I just happen to have this King's Hawaiian barbecue sauce, smoked bacon. I'm really excited about the flavor. I think it's gonna taste really yummy. Along with the barbecue sauce, you're going to put in your buttermilk ranch dressing mix, which is just one packet. I bought this big thing at either, I'm pretty sure it was at Sam's, and just because I use it constantly, I'm, I'm always making fresh ranch dressing. So I'm going to scoop out a little bit of that and mix those together. Next up, all I'm going to do is pour the ranch and the barbecue sauce that I've already mixed up into the crock pot over the sausage. Then I'm gonna cook it on high for one and a half hours or you can cook it on low for two and a half hours just until it's hot because everything is already cooked. Your sausage is already cooked. You're really just heating it up and getting the flavors all combined. Here we have it, an hour and a half later, they are done and taste amazing. I've got them on a plate just because my kids are going to be eating them, so I want them to cool off just a bit. And then I have some fun little toothpicks that I got at a local party store. Perfect after school snack. Okay, you guys, what did you think of this crock pot meal? Let me know down below what your favorite go-to crock pot meal is because I'm always looking for new recipes to try. So. This one was super simple and I definitely wanted to share it with you guys first because you could use it for anything. Appetizer, I know it is football season, after school snack for your kiddos or even as a lunch, like your main meat part of your lunch. It definitely keeps warm in like a little canister in your school lunches for your kiddos. So many uses you can get out of this one dish and of course it is super simple, easy. So. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys love easy go-to crock pot meals or appetizers, whatever you wanna call this one, hit that subscribe button. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. I do post every single day and I have some vlogs coming up for you guys. If you wanna see a little bit of behind the scenes and my family life here at the Lemonade Mom household. So I will see you guys tomorrow, bye.